During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to configure your email opt-in inside of Video Overplay. So inside of the settings here, you're going to notice that we have quite a few different email autoresponder settings. First up, we have something called time, and this is going to be the seconds. And this is going to be how many seconds do you want to wait until this email form pops up into your video. So right now, I have it on five seconds. So five seconds into my video is when my form is going to pop up. So you can put this at 10 seconds, you know, a minute, you know, five minutes, whatever it may be. And the email opt-in will wait until that a lot of time has come and then it will pop up. Next up, we have the headline. So I have sign up below. This is going to be your headline just above the opt-in form. We have a skip text because the visitor is allowed to skip past your opt-in form and continue watching the video. So you can put no thanks or continue video or whatever it may be. We have a wait message. Mine says, please wait. And this is going to appear when someone does opt into the form and the form is loading and processing their information. So for me, when they enter their name and their email and they hit enter, mine's going to say, please wait, you know, while we process your information. Next up, we have the thanks message. This is when they do opt in. Mine says, thank you for subscribing. And this is going to be just a brief little message that they see once they do opt into your form. For the next two, we have the name and the email placeholder. This is just what they're going to see inside of the box so that they know what to enter inside of that box. Then we have our button text. Mine says subscribe. Yours can say, you know, download now or join or whatever it may be that they are opting into. Then we have our button style. This is going to be what your button looks like, your subscribe button. This is going to be what it looks like on the video itself. So we have quite a few different colors and styles that you can see here. Down below, we need to choose our email service. So we have Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, iContact, or other. So I'm going to choose Aweber. And then we have our sign up form settings. We need to enter the input field for the name and the input field for the email. And then the HTML sign up form that we create inside of our autoresponder. Now this is going to be a little bit different depending on which service you are using, but no matter what service you are using, they will give you an HTML code once you create your web form. And then you just need to figure out what your name input and what your email input is going to be inside of the HTML form and place that here. Last but not least down here at the bottom, we have animation settings. So the animation style is going to be how the opt-in form comes into the video. So it can fade in, it can come from the top, the right, the bottom, the left. We have all these different options here of how it can come into the video. So I can choose fade in. Next for the position, this is going to be where the opt-in form is sitting at on the video itself. So it can fade in at the top of the video, the bottom of the video, the center of the video. And then we have an easing style. And this is just a little animation that we can add to our opt-in form. We can make it swing. We can have it ease in and out. We can have it spring or bounce. And then we have our animation speed. So 1000 milliseconds is going to equal one second. So if you want two seconds, you would enter 2000 milliseconds. And this is how long you want the animation to take place. So when it's fading in, how long do I want that fade in to take place? And when you are done setting up your email opt-in form settings, just click on finish and your overplay settings will be saved.